Today we're gonna separate the floors of this tower and push them to the side so they look like stairs. Hey there, my name is Ali. We're gonna make today's tutorial using only one photo, so let's get started. I'll drag my first photo here. I'm gonna crop it into 4x5 just for uh, the ratio for Instagram. Then I'm gonna control T, make sure it's like the same ratio. Press OK. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna separate the sky from the building. So I'm gonna use the magic wand tool. I'm gonna select the sky, I'll hold shift to add. If something went wrong like this, hold alt and click, it will minus the selection. And again using shift, I'm just making sure I'm selecting the whole sky. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press control J. This will make a new layer of the sky. And I'm gonna control click the sky, stand on this layer and press delete. So now the sky is on a completely separate layer. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this for now. I'm gonna select this empty part. I'm gonna take my rectangular marquee, hold alt and just remove this area. So now I'm only making selection of this part. This part I wanna add sky to it. So I'm gonna first go to select. I'm gonna go to modify expand then I'm gonna expand my pixels by 8 maybe this just expanded my selection a little bit overlapping the sky then I'm gonna go select modify I'm gonna go feather and let's say 4 for example and then I'm gonna go to edit fill make sure you're on content aware and 100% normal color adaptation press ok this is a feature in Photoshop. It will try to fill the middle part with the same of what's around. Okay, it did a great job. It just left some line here in the middle. We will fix it by going to the clone stamp. Let's make it 50%. I'm going to hold alt click from the right side with 50% and just sorry, alt click just add some from the right, then do the same from the left alt click and do the same and now we're done with the sky I'll make it a little bit bigger something like that and let's open this layer let's uh, of course put it behind we have here some missing parts so I'm just gonna fill it using the clone stamp sample alt click and just fill it out okay now it's time to separate this building I'll start from the this third floor I'm gonna use the polygonal lasso tool I'm just gonna select it like that and I'm gonna press right click once I'm done layer via cut and let's call this one let's do the same to the next stand make sure you're standing on the main layer then right click layer via cut again stand on the layer And I'm gonna speed forward until I'm done with like all the stories. And okay, now I have everyone into like a, a separate layer. Let's call them. Uh, okay, but I need to rearrange them so that oh, I guess they are arranged. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one a little bit to the right. Then this one. That one. This one. This one. And that one. Okay, so now we made it. But as you notice here, some of them they have like perspective because like the more you go up, you're looking at them from down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my lasso tool and draw selections like that. Make sure you're matching the perspective while doing this. 
and add a layer below them and just paint with a very dark color so now you're having like the bottom part let's see if we paint it with a bright color no the dark color is better so now we added the bottom part and we have like the the thing you can like try to play around make them maybe like zigzag shape or something whatever you prefer but for me i'm gonna leave it this way okay and once i'm done i'm gonna go to the curves adjustment layer i'm gonna pull this one up pull the shadows down increase the highlights and i'm gonna go to the curves i'll go to the red channel i'll add red in the highlights some cyan in the shadows then in the blue channel add some blue in the shadows some yellow in the highlights and i'm gonna hold the control alt shift press e this will merge everything into a new layer i'll go to filter camera row filter okay now i'm gonna take the radial filter i wanna like add some sort of light in this area so i'm just gonna draw some light coming like that and I'll like it. decrease clarity, dehaze, and brighten up. Add some yellow tint and magenta tint to it, to the light coming. And okay. Okay, that's really nice. I'm gonna add another camera row filter. This time I'm gonna do the opposite, I'm gonna use the gradual filter, I'm gonna pull from here. But this time instead of adding yellow, I'll add the opposite which is blue. And I'm not gonna add magenta, I'm gonna instead of brightening, I'm gonna darken a little bit. And I'll leave these to zero. And I'm just darkening the areas which does not have light in them and okay one more time camera row filter this time I'm gonna go to the FX module I'm gonna add a little bit of vignette and haze the photo a little bit increase the clarity a little bit of the whole photo and go to the camera calibration try to play around with the colors see different variations of color okay and that's it for today's tutorial if you have any comments or questions make sure you put them in the comment section down below thank you